restrictors. Uh, got my grubby shirt on today. Tazzy needs a cage clean, so we're going to do that today real quick. Um, it would be a good day to get time to switch him over to the rep to chip. Uh, so we're going to get on that. I'm going to flip you guys around here real quick. Tazzy likes to flip over his water dish a lot. So that in turn floods his cage. So there it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's flipped upside down. It's the third time in like four days. So the substrate's pretty well saturated. So we're just going to pull him out, put him in a temporary tub, and then we're going to start cleaning. Okay, let's try that angle there. You got your set up on the end of by Tazzy's enclosure, food, water dish. I'll clean that out here in a minute. I have moved him over to a tub in the uh, little python rack, and of course he pooped in a normal ball python fashion. Not ball python, excuse me, blood python fashion. Anybody who has had blood pythons or a larger snake knows that when they go potty, it looks like there's looks like a dog climbed in the uh, enclosure and pooped everywhere. So that being said. We have a couple of full paper towels here in a bag, and we're gonna pull the poop up out of there. I had a feeling he was gonna do that because he had a big old butt for the last few days. So we're gonna go ahead and put that. So, Daddy's on a every other week feed that, uh, schedule now. Which is perfectly fine for him. So, oh yeah, there. And there. We'll use this last one one more time. All right, we'll close this up, and the rest of the substrate I'm just going to toss in the garbage can here. Uh, I try and use put as much stuff in the garbage can here as I can so I'm not wasting garbage bags and whatnot. So, that being said, let me get going on this here. Oh, that's a frame. I'm going to back you guys out a bit. There we go. Alright, you guys are going good. All right, so we're going to set this off to the side. If you hear a little Oreo in the background barking, that's all good. She's downstairs with the pups. Let's get her up. Clean the sides good. Yeah. I mean, uh, the forest floor has been really good, but once you get it wet, or like if they spill their water dish, uh, it gets pretty saturated. And it's not really good for them to, I can actually almost squeeze water out of this stuff right now. So, let me get this up out of here. And we're going to do the rest. I'm going to put some uh, Repti Chip in here for him. See how he likes it. I don't think he'll care one way or the other. I've had Tazzy long enough to know he really, pretty, pretty laid back. I may do a fast or a time lapse of this here. I probably will. We'll see. Now this being an aquarium, 
uh, it's not really a reptile enclosure. Um, I do have plexiglass on one side, and uh, that keeps the humidity in pretty well. The other side I do did customize it a little bit. It's got a reptile mesh on the top, or steel mesh, and I added some wood to it so it would fit perfectly in here. Um, I do keep a piece of, or a piece, uh, a towel that I put on the top of that. That I can actually get damp in it and it will add humidity to the cage. Um, I've done that for, oh, he's been in this thing for three years now, four years, and he has thrived in it. So I'm not going to change anything if I don't have to. Why well, fix it if it ain't broken, right? So, yeah, there's. I will say though, the forest floor. He's liked that a lot. Uh, I do catch him every once in a while burying himself in it when it's not saturated and wet. Um, right now, though, it's pretty pretty damp. So, get out as much as I can. And then we'll use paper towels to get the rest. Alright. Alright, guys. Uh, boring part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start wiping this down. I'm actually going to do a time lapse on this next part so it's not hour-long video so stay tuned and uh, be right back maybe if I can find the button I can't find the button there it is water dish. Drinking away. He does drink a lot of water. Uh, whenever he flips it over, I'm usually right on it. Give him a new dish, full of water. Uh, I used to fill it all the way up, but he used to spill it within 20 minutes of me filling it all the way up, so I would be cleaning his cage three, four times a day. So I stopped filling it all the way up, so there's just a tiny bit of water in there. 
it's about half full and he will drink that down to a quarter by the time the day is over and then I will give him a fresh water dish again tonight before I go to bed so yeah ah, I see there's smudges on the window now oh well I'm never any good at cleaning windows or glass but I think he's uh, digging the new substrate keep you posted